What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I decide to take it a little bit on the Italian fast food side, right? And order from Big Apple's Pizza, okay? Now, Big Apple, I'm expecting you guys to have that Big Apple New York taste. So we'll see, because I'm getting ready to put you to the test. So what I decided to do when ordering from them was, let me get their most popular items, right? So I went down the list of the most popular items and said, I'm gonna try those. So first thing, of course, I came across was the pepperoni pizza, okay? You know, it's a classic for, for any pizzeria, right? So I went ahead and said, you know, if this is on their popular list, it must be something nice. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Then, of course, you gotta get your mozzarella sticks. You know what I'm saying? That's, I just feel like that's necessary when you go into a pizzeria or whatever, man, you gotta have your mozzarella sticks, right? Then, I went ahead and got my mild chicken wings. You know what I mean? With the, with the ranch. Can't go wrong with the chicken, man, at the pizzeria, you know? Last but not least, this one surprised me a little bit, okay? I usually, you know, y'all, you know you know me. I usually get my fries, go ahead and try the fries or whatever. But they had something uh, on their popular list called uh, garlic garlic parmesan fries. I've never tried that. So I was like, what better time to put it to the test, right? So I went ahead and got the garlic parmesan fries. And I'm going to let you guys... Uh, you know, check all of these out so you can really see in depth what I'm working with. All right. So now that we've checked it out, I went ahead and displayed everything for you guys so you guys can see what I'm working with. It's time to dig in, put them to the test. So, first item on the list we're gonna start with is the pizza. So, I will say, of course, it is definitely greasy. Um, I can see it just from there, you know, just from touching it. But, that doesn't take away from it, right? So let's see. Right. It's a good pizza. What I do like about it is it still stays firm, as you guys can see. Instead of like limping over, and, you know, because it's too much grease or too much sauce, so it's causing it to, the bread to be really soggy. This one's staying firm. It has enough sauce, enough cheese. It's still thin, you know, but good pizza. Definitely good pizza. See? Still staying firm, man. I like that. Shout out to Big Apple's Pizza for that. I'm pretty sure you guys know a lot of other places, especially when it comes to pizzerias. You know, you can check out. So that's why I say, if you know, let me know, man, because I'm definitely interested in finding out. Pizza did its thing, man. I'm gonna move on to these mozzarella sticks. Now, one thing I can say about when you get mozzarella sticks, everybody marinara sauce ain't good, man. So I don't always judge the mozzarella stick by the actual stick. I judge it by the sauce. If I have to eat the marinara, uh, I'm sorry, if I have to eat the mozzarella sticks by themselves, it takes away from it. Okay, so I like mine to be a combination. You know, I have to be able to dip it in my sauce and enjoy it, things like that, right? So, we gonna see. So it's not thick, which I, I prefer thicker marinara sauce, uh, but so it's not thick. But again, I don't judge the book by its cover, y'all know that, so. And 
that's the reason why I don't judge a book by its cover. Marinara sauce is amazing. And it's hot. You can taste all of the peppers. I like that. Really good marinara sauce. So, like I said, the reason why I go off of that as well is because sometimes I've been to places where the marinara sauce tastes like has like a heavy yeast or beer kind of taste and it turns it off for me completely so shout out to Big Apple Pizza uh, for making sure to keep me turned on during the food dish okay so we've, we've dealt with the pizza delicious A1 we dealt with the mozzarella sticks with the marinara sauce delicious A1 so we're gonna slide over to these chicken wings man check them out got my ranch dressing just to make sure you know so we gonna try some of these wings out put them to the test and see you know if they really as good as they think now what I will say um, more so on the disappointment side okay so I got the mild wings but the only reason why I got the mild wings is because the wings that I chose um, didn't arrive. So I ordered the sweet chili chicken wings. Uh, but I did allow them to pick the uh, manager's recommend recommendation if they didn't have that. But instead of them saying, hey, you know, we're going to have to go with that recommendation because we don't have it. They just sent me what they want. So... I'm a little disappointed in that because I was I was kind of anxious to get my sweet chili wings um, and to provide an option like manager's recommendation kind of gives you an idea that they don't always have what's actually advertised. Um, so it kind of changed my perception a little bit. As far as the wings go themselves, I'm not judging it based off of the presentation or taste, uh, but this, this kind of falls in the category of service to me. You know what I mean? Like... I catch you when you open, so I, I should be able to get, you know what I mean, whatever. Because at the end of the day, I know sometimes people run out of supplies, but in the beginning, and you guys see me have problems with certain places where I've gone and they run out of meat and, you know, things like that. So um, that one did kind of disappoint me. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed, definitely disappointed. But I'm not going to let it take away from what I'm actually eating because that might be pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that, guys. This is the mild chicken, okay? Um, I'm not really a big fan of the chicken. It's not bad. You know, it's cooked all the way through. But it's really lacking flavor. You know, it's lacking flavor. So, like I said, it doesn't um, mean that it's, it, it's, it's not tasty and that it's not edible. But it's not seasoned. It's just, it tastes really bland. You know what I mean? So... I would have definitely, I think the whole situation with the chicken where I would have preferred to have the sweet chili that I ordered versus what I got is really, it really makes it worse for me because uh, not only did I not get what I ordered, but then the substitution or recommendation that was provided really wasn't something that I would have recommended to either one of you guys. So not really too happy about that. So right now, two out of three right now, guys. So last but not least I got the garlic parmesan fries I'm very open minded about this because I have no idea what it's going to taste like um, but I want to try it I'm going to try it first here with you guys so let's check it out that's definitely different it's kind of like a A 
believe it or not, I was actually expecting it to be more like a um, like a garlic potato kind of taste. But it actually tastes more like garlic knots. Which is which is which is surprising. Which I do like garlic knots, by the way. Um not a bad not a bad dish at all. But I think that they went maybe too heavy on the garlic parmesan because it's kind of like I said I was expecting more of the potato taste of course from the fries but you can barely taste the fries you taste garlic and parmesan all the way through which which definitely lets you know that that was what was specialized but you don't taste the fries at all so I never want to eat a food that has an added substance to it as a specialty dish so much that I can't taste the originality of the food itself Um, it kind of takes away from it for me so uh, I have to do the two out of four as as positive Um, all around um, as a complete meal like I said presentation was good separated uh, the pizza was good, very delicious. Mozzarella sticks and marinara sauce were, were perfect. Uh, not too happy about the chicken and, and uh, not getting what I ordered, as well as um, I think they over seasoned the fries. But I will say the overall presentation and, and uh, taste of the first two were definitely uh, on point. So uh, from one to 10, Because I guess you could say half of it, half of it was uh, was good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it a five. Uh, I've heard that it, that you get a better experience when you're actually there, um, sitting in the restaurant, and uh, it's a, it's a nice environment for for kids and for family. Um, so don't take you know my rating away from that. Okay. Um, because that could be definitely the added bonus to put them in a different category. But as far as uh, ordering food um, to the house, I would I would probably lean more towards just ordering pizza um, and mozzarella sticks than anything else at this point. Uh, but there are many, many dishes that they have, so I wouldn't limit it to just this. I definitely want to try other things on their menu. Uh, and, and see if it puts me in a different perspective. But as of right now, this is where we are, guys. Uh, shout out to Big Apple Pizza, you know, uh, for, for for bringing, you know, uh, the joy for the pizza back. You know what I mean? Uh, it's definitely Big Apple Pizza. I give you that for sure. Uh, you guys ever in the Fort Pierce area, man, and you're looking for some good pizza, mozzarella sticks, man, stop by Big Apple Pizza. They have that for sure, okay? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to finish my pizza, my mozzarella sticks. You know, like I said, the chicken's edible. I might put a little more seasoning on it for myself. Uh, but I'm going to dig into this, guys, and I'll get back with you guys uh, next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you guys have uh, any other recommendations. you actually seen, uh, you know, a place that you want me to check out. Or if you've ever eaten here before, you have a different experience. Let me know. All right? Until next time, you guys. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.